Hello everybody. Today I welcome you to join me as I taste Wickles Wicked Okra and Wickles Wicked Pickles. Say that three times fast. I'm gonna try Wickles Wicked Pickles, Wickles Wicked Pickles, Wickles Wicked Pickles. Okay, you can do it, but it's you have to really think when you're doing it. Anyway, I've been seeing this product at Publix. I'm sure they're probably sold at other stores too, and I've been really curious about it. But they're like five dollars for almost five dollars a jar, and it's like, no, I can't do that. So they finally put them on sale buy one, get one free. And it's like, okay, perfect. This is the right time for me to try them. So they have some different varieties of pickles and stuff. Um, I've got the, I'm going to try the Wickles Wicked Okra. And as you can see, well, they have a little pepper. I'm hoping it's not too hot. But as you can see in the okra, it's got a pepper in it. Now the ingredients, I'm going to um, read it off real quick. Um, this is made in Alabama, actually. A product of Sims Food, uh, Dadeville, Alabama. Ingredients, fresh okra, sugar, water, distilled vinegar, apple cider vinegar, salt, dried garlic, and red chili peppers, calcium chloride, natural flavors, extractives of turmeric, I think I say that wrong, garlic, and cap capsicum. Anyway, let's, without further ado, where is my, oh, here we go. I have my, uh, oh, it definitely smells like pickles. Wow, look at the size. Well, I'll show y'all here in a second. Of course, I've got a um, towel right here to cover any droppage. I want y'all to see. Let me just pick it up with my finger. That'll be easy. Look at the size of that okra. Whoa. It has, it has maybe just a, a slight smell of heat, but you primarily get that. Almost smells like a sweet pickle smell because it does have sugar in the vinegar and everything. So let me give it a taste. Yeah. I am really pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect exactly. I, I don't think I've ever had anything pickled aside from like cucumbers. I know they pickle eggs and pig's feet and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. But I don't think I've ever tried anything other than, um, yeah, like cucumbers. Just, but uh, I was like, I love okra. Anyway, boiled, fried, stewed. Some people are, you know, um, don't like the texture of okra because it can be slimy if you boil it or stew it or anything, but this is crispy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you can catch I don't know if you can hear the crunch, but it's not slimy at all it has a wonderful crunch and texture and flavor that is just lovely that would be and just the slightest hint of heat the perfect amount i mean this is just i would i mean two thumbs up for me on this i don't know why i'm looking at my microphone like that's the <laughs> yeah Anyway, um, yeah, that's lovely. That would be great on a charcuterie board. Did I say that right? I think I did a char charcuterie board. Along with like olives and nuts and cheese and grapes and stuff. That would be so awesome. Along with your other pickles and like I said, olives and stuff. That would be so good. If you like a okra, give that a try. If you're not even if you're funny about boiled okra, I think you would like that. 
because it, it's not slimy. It's not the same texture as boiled okra. It still has some, some crisp to it. It's not mushy. Okay, I'm going to move on to the pickles. All right. I'm so excited to be trying these. I bought them the previous, my previous grocery trip. So like two grocery trips ago, I bought them. And I've just had them in the fridge, getting cold, waiting for the right moment. And um, I figured I better go ahead and do it. Um, well, I have a minute. So they're just, I bought the chips. And it's the Wicked, oh, I can't show you. it's the same jar just the pickles and it's got the little pepper on it and it does have peppers in there i think it has um maybe slightly different ingredients i think it's the same thing uh, cucumber sugar water vinegar apple cider vinegar salt garlic and red chili peppers calcium chloride i think it might be slightly different ingredients um it seems like there's not as quite as many in the pickles. Um, it's well, no, maybe it's the same. It, it is the same. It looked like it was slightly different. Okay, so it sh should be the same pickling. Okay, I already got that out. But of course, it's a cucumber instead of okra. So let me give this a try. Ooh. Oh, this one, maybe it was just a lot of heat on that particular cucumber. When I did, when I swallowed, I felt it in my throat and it, and it was like a flame went up into my nostrils. Not painful or bad, but it was just like, whew, like a little smoke of heat, a little poof. It's like, whew, caught me off guard. Now, again, the flavor is wonderful. It's slightly different than the okra. Let me give another taste and see. Maybe it was just that one piece. Now, the thing about this, and I don't know if weird, maybe it's wicked, that's why they call it wicked, it's, I think it's like a combination of a, even though it doesn't have dill in it, it's um it almost tastes like a combination of dill pickle and sweet pickle like bread and butter pickle with just a tad bit of heat and it's yeah it's different it's definitely different than any pickle i've ever tried before and i love it i really love it anybody that's extremely sensitive to any kind of peppers or any heat whatsoever no matter how mild they wouldn't be able to eat it my mother wouldn't be able to eat it because it does have some heat to it Though not bad, she's sensitive to it. But, you yeah, know, that is fantastic. That really is. I'm so glad I got a chance to try this. That they put it on buy one, get one. Um, yeah, I'm so thrilled. I will look up their website and uh, put it in the description box below so that you can go check it out for yourselves and see where they sell it in your area if they do. Um, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate all of y'all, especially the ones that comment on a regular basis. Miss um, Sherry, I'm going to give a shout out to you because I appreciate your prayers and your support and, um, and your friendship. I thank you very much for that. And for all of my other subscribers that, that comment as well and that have subscribed and any new um, people to my channel, I would ask that you would please subscribe as well if you haven't done so and hit that thumbs up button as well as the little notification bell so that you won't miss anything that I put out that you'll get a notification. Thanks so much again and until next time, God bless.